Good morning, folks. It's a snow day in Colorado. I hope it's warmer where you are and you're ready for some fun geophysics, astrophysics, and space weather. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun with a filament eruption on the north. You might have spotted this in the opening sequence as well. Otherwise, we've got no solar flaring, but a large coronal hole is facing Earth. Solar wind amplification coming in about three days. Solar wind at Earth is calm right now, so let's go to our first article today, which is about the extreme electron content values during solar storms. The maximum is pretty much a death sentence for a satellite and even many aircraft. Luckily, the maximum doesn't exactly happen very often. But interestingly, it shows up most often at the equatorial zones rather than near the poles where the solar wind prefers to couple with the Earth. Let's go out and see a couple stars starting with a new Black Widow pulsar. The moniker simply refers to the pulsar's binary having a teeny tiny mass by comparison. This animation still stuns after years pass since its release. But the cooler star story is this. They say it's one of the largest and brightest stars in the whole galaxy. It's just been hiding behind a dusty veil, and it's moving at psychotically high speeds. They say its speed almost requires a super binary star, but none is seen. And the star which they say shines a million times brighter than the sun was virtually unknown to astronomy as just a faint, uninteresting speck of light behind the dust before. Last but not least in the article front, we are back to geophysics where it is confirmed that the South Atlantic anomaly is a recurrent feature in the geodynamo. This is imperative because the geomagnetic excursion, the rapid pole shift we're in right now, is also a recurrent feature and one we've hoped gains better understanding both in the current shift and in the past patterns that can help us understand the current shift. It is indeed very probable that the South Atlantic anomaly repeatedly undergoes the initial stages of the weakening and reversal that act as the canary in the coal mine for the global field. We greatly appreciate your support. By the way, snow days make for slow shipping. If you ordered our book last week, I can tell you it is delayed. Thanks, UPS. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.